ladies and gentlemen, this is the podcast you've been waiting for. little top of the menu for you guys we are currently in our palm rocks retreat it is phenomenal the wedding is happening on saturday so we're recording this pre-wedding so in the episode today you're going to have little bits of us in palm rock sophie is a little drunk get ready for that we also have the rehearsal which is amazing and we also have our wedding episode we're going to split this into two parts because hopefully it's going to go really well so anyway tuck in enjoy and get ready for this phenomenal episode there is a noise in the background that yeah. we can't change, and it's cloudy in Spain, and we're meant to be getting married. Yeah, it's cloudy, and there's a noise in the background. Jamie's been crying all night because it's cloudy. Crying but listen, all, I haven't cried at all. I woke up this morning, and it's cloudy outside, which is a real uh, shitter. Is it the wedding day? No. I am Spanish. Well, I'm not. <laughs> You're not at all. I'm not, but I've grown up here, and I know that if it's cloudy today, it won't be tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, we are recording this from our villa in Spain, in Sola Grande. It is We're in three... Palm Rocks Villa, a retreat. It's three days before our actual wedding. Uh, by the way, if it sounds a little bit different, it's because we are sitting on these lovely cushions recording in the sun. I've never been comfy in my entire Holding life. handheld mics out, out here. Describe what it's like here, Soph. Come and give it to us. If I could die and go to heaven, I'd live in this place. Okay. It's just so epic. Okay. I can't even believe it. You're describing it really well, actually. Well, I'm just... <laughs> Is there a swimming pool? There's a pool. Yeah, there we go. There's like... Everything's so cool. We sound very small, but we're just very lucky to. It's amazing. We're, we're here. We're having the best time. We're it's getting... got a huge fire. I mean, I don't know how to. There's a fire it. pit. Apparently, we'll we'll the, get some shots eventually. The French like, Love Island French. Um, recorded here as well. And not to mention, the trainer here is not hard on the eyes. So if he fancies the six foot four, guys, trainer, look, I've said it Sam. before. He's he's six foot ten. I was like, I mean, he's like a god. I mean, like. You gotta. It's, he barbecues too. What do I barbecue? You don't even know how to boil an egg. So, so what are you talking about? I know how to do Look, everything. I like small boys, so you're all right. What? That's the my taste. I've had preference. So just just before our big wedding, you're now schmoozing over Sam. I'm six not. Four, I'm just God. appreciating the view. I said this about Sam. I think God must have been drunk when they made Sam. And he was just like, oh, let's make this epic human. He and does then, look so, a bit like a Greek god. Even Jack was like, whoa. Greek god. And I don't look like a Greek god. The only chat I have with Sam is every time I see him, I say over and over again, wow, you're so tall. And I'm like, say something else. But what, so you're flirting with him every single no, time I, you see no, him? No, I'm not. I mute when I see <laughs> him. Oh my God, it's even worse. You're just mute with him. I'm going to get him in here. Let's see it'll be a mute podcast. I like, I like small petites with a little tummy. Joking, you're ripped to shreds. <laughs> okay. So guys, I haven't drank in three weeks. Yeah. That's a lie too. Yeah. But as in like, I haven't even drank my red ambulances. No full fat coat, no coconut water, just water. I love how you're looking down the camera as you say this. Yeah, because listen up. <laughs> okay. This is right. moth and hello. Wait, you, you, you've you jumped my little, I had a little treat for you right there. So. As a being like, whoa, I'm drunk. Before, before we even begin this episode. You know when I wanted glow in the dark golf balls, I wanted to slide a merry go round, all those things were just vetoed by you. Because you're so tacky, that is so. That bad. is not tacky at all. It's great. However, there was one thing that I really wanted to have, and it was canned cocktails. And lo and behold, we have. Yeah, thank you. Compromise. Our very own canned cocktails for the wedding, which I am so excited about. Sophie didn't want canned cocktails at the wedding so bad that actually I went and invested in a canned cocktail. <laughs> They're called Moth, by the way. They're M O T H. They're amazing. You, you're going to get a little bit tipsy today, I think. Yeah, guys, I've been out here for a week for Jamie. Yeah. I feel fab. It, it's really unfair. I slept 12 hours every night for a week, and I only drank water. She had a phenomenal time. I, I ate too. I'm when I say that, people think I did water for 10 days. I'm like, I wish I could do that, but I couldn't. I've arrived out, and I'm tired because I've just arrived out here. Sophie um, has had a week of relaxation, and, and she's now just wanting me to be on form all the time, all day, and ready for it. And I'm just, you know, I want to have my week of relaxation before the wedding. Well, it's a tough shit 
baby boy. All baby right. Franz are here. Hey. And that to- Jamie's toenail fell off yesterday. And it's just, <laughs> that's the cherry on top of the the tree, really, isn't it? <laughs> but the I must give it, Can I just say? Yeah. Harriet Westmoreland, who I have followed for three years, yeah. who was meant to be doing Hayley Bieber's nails and Justin Bieber's nails in England today, asked to fly out to do my nails instead. Does that mean I've made it? I think so. Yeah, I do. So take these in, suckers. <laughs> Does that mean you made it, that that's happened? Well, I don't know, but I invited her to the wedding because she's a vibe. I hear you, Annie. Hey, listen, um, we should probably kick off the podcast as we always kick it off. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Nearly Weds Podcast. Uh, now, this episode is coming out two days after we've been married. So we've just been married on the Saturday. We're recording it, obviously, in the week before. So we're going to have lots of different bits from the wedding in it as well, which is really exciting. We don't know how it's gone. So we're, we're preempting what's going to happen at the wedding right now. I think it's going to be sick. Honey, are you excited? Guys, I'm so excited. Really? Like, I just feel so excited. You feel wedding. so calm. It's amazing. I don't... If it rains, it, like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just so excited. Well, maybe it's because I've locked you down. There's no worries now. It, it's so funny how our minds work. Because you're now so content that you're married yeah, to me. Yeah, and you're a little Nancy, nervous Nancy. Now you? I'm the, the stressed one. Because you're so upset you've married me. He's like, fuck, I'm locked in. I've got to, <laughs> I'm what, married what, this what he said when we had a fight, he went, Ugh, I've got to be married to you for at least a year. I was like, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's true. If it was before a year, everyone'd be like, well, that was short. A year, then you're like, it's all right. <laughs> it's gonna I'm be... going to slowly put candy curtains in my name, then you're locked in for that. Baby. <laughs> What? Joking, everyone's going to actually think of a gold digger, I'm not. No, you're not, honey. I'm the breadwinner in this. No, you're, I tell you <laughs> what, I do want to say, you're in just such amazing form, you really are. You're, well, thank you're, you. You're in I the had a form. really difficult time, so maybe the universe works in different ways. So what has happened since you've been out? What did you do last week before So this week? my dad lives here in Marbella, so this is really, that's probably why I feel so great. This is really my happy place. It's really mm-hmm. like my home. Yeah. I'm always the happiest when I'm here. I came out a week early with my sister. We literally just slept, walked on the beach. I really shut down. I just literally slept 12 hours every day. Mm-hmm. Um, no red ambulances, no alcohol, drank water. And it's just amazing. I think I'm just really rested. And it's you just feel completely party. calm, right? Feel very calm. But this is, I know it here. Like, I've grown up here. So this, to me, is my calm place. For you, it's, you don't know it that much. No, I don't know it here. But I but I tell you what I am. I'm just... And also, you've kind of, like, put on this big extravaganza. So you probably have the pressure to pull it off. Whereas I'm like, look, this is Jamie's thing. Uh, it's not just my thing. Well, look, I said I wanted a 20 people wedding in Maldives. So, like, if it's on you, if it all goes to shit. Honey, if it rains, we are fucked. The, the, the worst thing is, is we decided to have the wedding out here and we've been checking the, the forecast. It's thunderstorms. Guys, it it's has been thunderstorms. roasting for a week and then I checked, but it's changing. It's honestly thunderstorms. If you say it one more time, you're going to manifest it and I'll punch you in the balls. I know, I'm not. Listen, the good thing is, is that we're going to plant a sausage. So when, once we plant a sausage, it's going to be Jay, you right. wanted to plant Bobby. I was like, you <laughs> sick son of a bitch. It's a sausage dog, so that would be a good idea. No, but I think I'm, I have the full confidence that it's actually going to be okay. It's going to be totally fine what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I think it is going to be okay. How's our... I've had dance lessons with my dad. Yeah, you've had dance lessons with your dad. Not sure why, because we're not American, but it was a lovely bonding experience anyway. I tell you what I'm really nervous about is my speech. Why? That's your best favourite thing. You love to stand up and talk and have all the eyes on no, you. No, I'm really nervous about it, Soph. I'm nervous about it because... That was you... really, really genuine. Yeah, I am. I really am nervous about it. Well, don't be nervous. I... That might be why you're nervous. No, honey, it's not. I'm nervous about it because it's like, <laughs> okay, do I read it off cards? Do I not read it off cards? Do I just learn the whole thing and just read it? Like... I'd have cards, but learn it pretty much or as much as you can. I, I, I've sort of done that, but it's really intimidating. Go and get that in your gob. But it is a little bit intimidating. I'm a little bit nervous about the whole situation. Why is it intimidating? You literally do it. That's like your bread and 200 ambassador. people that you have to give a speech to. No, it's not 200 because so many people are pulling out left, right and centre. Rude. <laughs> not to fret. I've got my B list coming. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> so, what's good? People, yeah, that is true, but I just hope it's going to be. Timmy, you're so great at that. Just don't try, don't be anything but yourself because you're your best when you're yourself. Don't try and be funny because you're naturally funny. God, that was sweet from me. That's the nicest thing I think you said to me all trip. 
all trip and be on here one day. The other thing that's been happening at night time is your snoring hasn't been too good. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to put it out there. <laughs> Sophie's snoring was so bad last night because she's got, she's got allergies in her nose. No, right. Okay. I Someone told me to stop you snoring. You shove tissue up there <laughs> just so you can't breathe in it. It didn't work. She it sounded like a walrus. Honestly, I, like, it was so And also loud. I took like a melatonin tablet. So Jamie was like, <gasps> and I was just like, yeah, go downstairs. No, I said to Sophie, I was like, Sophie, you're snoring so loudly. Can you please? And she went, I'm so tired. I can't. Snoring again. So then I had to go I and did, sleep downstairs. I, I really wanted to sleep on my back last can night. I I actually, I'm going to get into this quickly. Firstly enough. Okay, so we spoke about, enough, first about yeah. Harriet and Millie who've done your nails. So we're going to do Hayley B. Bieber's nails. They have come out here. They arrived at 1 a.m. last night. Who had to let them in? You, obviously. Me. I had to let them in last I night. I go to sleep at like 8.30. Sorry, Betches. I, I had to let them in last night at 1 a.m. in the morning. I then had to move bedrooms because the snoring was so loud. And then I have to wake up today and organise everything as well. Organise? Yeah. What, you little bastard. I've been organising <laughs> everything. <laughs> Jamie doesn't know who's staying at the villa. This what? episode's going to be a bit of a fun one. We've chatted a little bit at the top, but I think we should we're invite Sue, the, the owner of Palm Rocks, and also the person that you'll mute around, Sam. Well, guys, just wait. Sam onto the podcast. How do you feel about that? I don't know where Sam is. He's probably puffing iron downstairs, but we can call him up. <laughs> I was Thank actually you. meant to do a one-on-one with him doing my booty session. You're there was just... no tactic towards that, I promise. But I've missed it to you as well, guys. What, what is this booty sessions you've been doing? I've been trying to get like a big booty. You've been trying to get a big booty? Yeah. By, by, but you've been I going don't... into town to do something with your booty. I tried to use M's got, which is like, on my bum. And it like literally makes you feel like you're going to shit yourself. <laughs> but I hold it in. And the woman's... <laughs> the woman... Thank God you hold it in. Honestly, no, thank I God you hold it in. Halfway, I'm like, I need to go to the loom. And then nothing comes out. I'm like, oh, it's all good. Don't worry. <laughs> And then she, she comes in and I've like whacked it up to 100, level 100. She's like, ooh, tiny thing like you, whacking up to 100. Well done, strong. I'm like, bitch, I'm getting married. <laughs> All right, well, let's bring in the... Uh, the stud. The stud. And let's also bring in Sue the to legend. the podcast. So please welcome to the podcast, Sue and Sam. Sue, Sam, welcome to the podcast. This is Sam, everyone. So if you need to be on the microphone... <laughs> Hang on, what about me? Not this is Sam, everyone. And then this is Sue. No, Sue, um, thank you so much for having us here at this wonderful place. Um, are, we the, are we the first people to come for the season? Or have you had people here already? We've had people here already. I've had three or, three or four. nobody is epic as you. But this place is amazing because in Soda Grande, the, the weather, apart from today, is typically really amazing. So you're outside. It's very outside space that you have. And you have this amazing sort of routines where it's up in the morning. There's breath work, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. You have your sister, Carol, who's the most incredible chef Thank in the entire world, making all this amazing food. We then go with Sam. And Sam, uh, I mean, he makes us lift and do these different things. The yoga yesterday was honestly the most relaxing thing ever. Mm. And our training, and I'm, I'm not a big gymmer, but I loved it. Well, it, it took me 40 years hours to get you in the gym yeah two days I, i'd like to just say that <laughs> i was going to do it now but a margarita's now attached my lips whoops. so whoops <laughs> we'll do the... so you're not doing the other one well you want me to do weight lifting after that big glass we'll, of margarita we'll train tomorrow morning tomorrow morning tomorrow i need morning. a booty pump before the wedding but i tell you what you're amazing at because this is your home as well and what i find amazing about it is that yeah. you allow all of these people these strangers coming into your place you allow, the, the service is incredible, you allow everyone to be here, and you're completely and utterly chilled yeah. about everything. It's for you to feel at home, like everything that you would want at home, that's what we'd like to provide. One thing that I have to say, which is I think is really great. Mm. So we're doing two exercises, you go back to back, and you're at a nice smooth and pace, nice. and you're completing for 12 minutes. Yeah. Now, we start, Jamie does three or four sets, turns to me, and he goes, how long has that been? I go... <laughs> About one and a half minutes, mate. He goes, yeah. he looks at me and goes, like, I've genuinely insulted you. Yeah, yeah. He's like, one and a half minutes? And I was like, yeah, man. It's yeah. horrendous. Jamie also tried to do his boxes yesterday and Sam was like, why are you doing in white briefs? I was like, Jamie, seriously, you don't have that much packing down there. Like, I put some shorts on. Also, Tom Barry, shout out to him, my sister's fiance, is, he cannot bend. I mean, I've never seen someone so unflexible in my entire life. Yeah. And he's been doing all the yoga. And I'm just like, just give it rest. Yeah. You can't even bend. You're like, he's at my feet. He's in all and he's at my feet. They can't. My tootsies just can't bend. Um, from our side, guys, we do, we want to say a huge thank you oh to God. you both. It's a pleasure. It's been absolutely, you know, we've been a few days here and it's been absolutely phenomenal. You guys- the food, the service, like 
everything. We've been made to feel so at home. It's just like, it's it's faultless. Susan wanted to see, like, I want to take her home in a little capsule and carry around me everywhere I go. So it's a little bit drunk in that margarita. I am lit. <laughs> so like, is. I might have to sign out now. Okay, wait, hang on, before we go. Like, these eyes are drooping. This, we... is, this is why I don't drink, because... <laughs> <laughs> Can we also say before that, do you remember, we arrive out here, and obviously I have been training the entire time for the last year to look good for the wedding. I've been lifting weights. Oh, God, get I've been over in the it. Gym. You've got Pat looking ugly. I've Who been cares? in my personal trainer. And we get out here, and we were on the beach <laughs> in Marbella, and we get photographed. My nipple was out. On the beach. She's a naughty, naughty girl. <laughs> Sophie. Sophie! Cut that out. Well, Sophie looked phenomenal in the photos. I, I honestly looked... I looked like a man with a gut. No, you didn't. I looked, honestly, I looked at... Yeah, I said you looked pretty well. I sent it straight to my trainer. And I said, what the hell have you done to me? I no, couldn't believe you were, it. No, you were really pasty. And you, you um, I think you ate chips for lunch, maybe. First comment that comes up. He looks like a pint of milk. What is it with men carrying women's handbags at the moment? He looks like Boris. Very Excuse unattractive me. couple. <laughs> <laughs> He's way too pale to be attractive. <laughs> These two look better fully clothed. <laughs> true, true. All right, listen, that's uh, enough of that. Oh, just... you daily male wankers. <laughs> okay. So we have four bridesmaids at the front. Uh, Sophie, do you want them in pairs? Yeah, I think so. So you choose who is walking. We've chosen. Am I being paid to appear in this? No. You're, we're cutting you out. Are you going to have an octopus leg at Trocadero tonight? I think it's a me set menu. Is it? Yeah. Well, hopefully there'll be some 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 purse on it because it's uh, delicious. <laughs> delicious, yeah. Yeah, yeah, love it. It'll be absolutely delicious. Yeah. <laughs> She's quite nervous, poor Sophie. I mean, it's very normal. I know, but she, she just gets overwhelmed by these things. I feel really nervous. Very Oh my baby girl. Do you want the music of the processional to... But it's going to be quite cool, this. It's amazing. Everyone in black tie, boiling hot. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. What's the time now? I thought I'd live to see It'll my be... son as a mermaid. Four. <laughs> It'll be, the sun will be further down. I saw Owen Wilson the other day. Did, where yeah, did you yeah, see yeah, Owen Wilson? In the Barry. Did you really? Yeah. Did you get to say something? I said hi to him, yeah. But like, he was, he was like, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Are you sure I'm supposed to be up here? Mm. You have to wear that as well. Yeah, yeah. I've got yeah, 100. I've actually got a better one. Okay, so you guys, so you guys are going to be down there now. We're going to walk up to come. You guys are going to be down there. So you're. Can you play the role of the official who will be behind you? <laughs> Absolutely. It's what I've actually. That was my role, and then Jamie demoted me. So he said that. He said that I said no, but that's bollocks. Behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some of the world's most fi <laughs> finest cocktails available to humanity just this way. <laughs> there we Please go. follow me for <laughs> and then the can you, of and the then you have to play a flute and run. You have to play a, have to play a flute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll come as a go. Dress as Mr. Tomnus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to break my surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Why have you picked the shyest MC? I know, Patrick. I... Where the hell's the MC again? Spencer will be announcing. What is he doing? He's doing. What the hell is going on? The okay, game cancel him as the MC. Honestly, I'm not even joking. Demoted again. Yeah, demoted again. Yeah. How have you been these last couple of days? Nervous, nervous. Um, not just because of the wedding, but I've been literally watching the weather every single second. It's my favourite app on my phone at the moment because we've been desperately hoping that after nine weeks of solid sunshine, suddenly we had rain and I thought, oh my God, 200 people, we have no plan B. We, we, if it rains, we've just got to wear umbrellas on our head and still party outside. So. But no, now I'm feeling relaxed. The weather's here, everyone's here, we're all feeling good, we're feeling good. We've had our paddle competition. Um, when you did the practice with walking up the aisle, so how did it feel? Well, the first, we did it twice. The first time, when you, uh, someone was saying something, I couldn't answer because I was genuinely completely choked up. I'm absolutely welled up. And I thought, oh, I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to be shocking at the, uh, during the speech. I just know that that's because there's a little moment where I mention my mother as well, because Sophie and my mother share the same birthday, and it's a really sweet story because um, when we 
when we found out that that um, we were pregnant with Sophie, we just found out that my mother had terminal cancer. So we were so upset as a family, devastated. And then we got some good news, and we called we called my parents and said, you know, we're pregnant again um, with another little girl, and she's going to be born on 27th September, which is my birthday. And my mother, who was quite weak at that stage, said. It's a quiet whisper, but with 100% certainty, he said, she'll be born on my birthday, 19th of October. And we said, Mum, second child, they're never going to be a month late. And she was born. She never waved. She was born on the 19th of October. Wow. Yeah. Can I get in? How are you feeling, Spencer? <laughs> Pretty ready, you know? I think, I think this whole thing... For your... For the business is ready? The business is ready? A lot of calls going on. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm, it's, it, this is a work day, let me tell you, you know. <laughs> You got me here on a Friday. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. But it's uh, honestly, I think, I think the whole the venue is incredible. Oh, and I think it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. I'm very ready for my role. I'm nervous now. Yeah. I'm Are you, nervous. Yeah. Why do you keep getting nervous? I'm just a bit nervous. Uh, rookie. I'm a little rookie. Bit, I think it's going to be amazing. It's going to be the greatest day ever, and I can't wait. It will, it will be awesome. Like, it, like it's quite a lot cooler than I thought it would be. That's good. Uh, so that's good. And, <laughs> and it's a lot better than you thought. It's actually all right. Yeah, yeah, it's actually really nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, th I think uh, even though I won't be officiating the wedding, uh, I, I'm happy with my role. And you're glad you did get invited in the end to the wedding? Yeah, look, getting the call up obviously was, was really nice this time. Uh, I think that we're, we've, we've got a fun night ahead uh, that hopefully we'll remember for the rest of our lives and we're going to make it really special. Looking forward to it. And the last question, have you, have you got something that you'd like to say to Jamie you know, the day before what do you the big wedding? Uh, only that I'm incredibly proud of you and I think that Sophie brings out the best in you. I think you're the most gorgeous, amazing couple and uh, we're all so excited for your big day tomorrow and I hope that you know Thanks, it. Thanks, Pugster. Yeah. No, it's going to be, it's gonna, it's gonna be a goodie. Yeah. Do you me anything from you? Uh, I'm nervous. And I just want you to dress as Mr. Tumnus when you do the MC. Love to. I just, unfortunately, I don't. I didn't bring the outfit, so it could be quite difficult to locate in the time that we have. And I did buy uh, a lovely new tux, which I'll probably debut instead. We'll find you some hooves. If yeah, you yeah. Just do that. Hooves and horns would be ideal if anybody has any. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, amazing.